Hello guys, this is Selina Liebmann. I'm really happy that you're following my Cousin Ace today here on Facebook. And yeah, let's start quick with the first question. The first question is from Pippa Laverti. She asks, how did you get into Speedway? Yeah, people, maybe your question is already answered by my takeover. Um, I started Speedway because of my dad. He was, he's a former ice Speedway rider. And yeah, I only can ride a 500 in ice Speedway. So that's why my dad decided to bring me to Olsing. And I tried a 50cc there. And yeah, so that's how I came into Speedway. The second question is from Nai Yang. He asked, did you face any challenges when you first started? Of course not, because I was too young. I was only five years old, so I didn't face anything. It was only fun for me. But uh, when I started to ride 125, it was like getting serious, more serious, because I wanted, I, I did like European Championship and World Championship. So yeah, I was there. I wanted to have success and want to be on the podium. It never happened in the 125 for European Championship or World Championships, but I got second in the German Championship. So yeah, first in 50cc, I didn't face anything, but since I rode 125, yeah, it was really like, I want to be a really good speedway rider and I want to be in the Grand Prix anytime. So yeah, thank you for the question. Tommy Gorali asks, what qualities do you need to have for Speedway, both physically and mentally? Yeah, of course, we need both. Um, most of uh, the people think we only need, need to be strong and like only the physically thing. But for me, the mentally thing is also really, really important because if you have a crash or something, you need to have to progress in your head that you can have the same situation, but you are not scared. So yeah, there's a lot of progress in your, in your head you, you have to do. And so for me, physically and mentally is both really important. So I also have someone to, to talk about to what happened. And if I have any problems yeah, that I can talk with someone, but, um, yeah, I need, of course, I need to be a bit strong and I need, um, body tension. But as I said, the head is also really important. The next question is also from Temi Gurali. Um, the question is, what do you love most about Speedway? Yeah, I love everything, of course. But yeah, of course, there is like cleaning. It's not the best, but you have to do it. Um, it's part of it. And yeah, but uh, to come to the point, uh, what I love the most is to to ride to the corner with like full throttle. And I know I have no brakes and I have to get the corner. If not, then I will have a crash or something. But yeah, this this feeling to get into the corner without brakes, I th it's for me, it's for me the best feeling. It's like you feel so, I feel so free if I have the situations. Ellen Critcher asks, do you have any plans to ride in the UK this year? Yeah, Ellen, I saw you already asked this a few times. So I'm happy to tell you I will be in the UK this year and make sure you are there and I will publish it soon. So stay tuned. The next one is from Dan45. He asked, in December, you were at the training camp in Australia where Max Frick was teaching you and other young riders things about Speedway. What are some of the important things that you learned from him? Yeah, I can tell you it was pretty good. Max is a pretty good teacher and he told us a re really, really much important things about Speedway. I, for me, the most important things were questions about the ignition I've had. And he also told me quite good things about my body movement on the bike. I didn't know. And also my movement of the head, what it makes if I have my head like this or like this what um what happened so yeah uh, i like max so he teach me a lot of good things and i really look forward to see him again yeah one of the quick fire questions from instagram how did you feel when you got the call to be the wild card for the sgp2 of prague last year 
I can tell you guys, it was an absolutely outstanding feeling. I was so happy and I was on my way to work and then I was like 30 minutes late because I had to call everyone like my dad and my mom and family and manager, mechanic. Um, yeah, it was a really, really, really big honor to be there. And yeah, in the, the work day was like, I didn't talk about anything else instead of Speedway and the SGP2 how great this is and how good I feel now and how much I look forward to this race. And yeah, as I said, it was a big honor and I'm absolutely happy that I got the chance last year. Thank you, Nicole Lynn Racing for the next question. She asked, has your career gone the way you thought it would? Um, I can tell you a funny thing about it because my dad always tells me he never thought I will get so far how I am now. So, but for me, um, I always knew that I want to have um, a great speedway career and I want to have um, success. So, um, yeah, I think I'm on the right way to to be a really good professional speedway rider. But I I always had the dream to ride in a Grand Prix, but like 10 years before i think i didn't thought that i will really race in a speedway grand prix but i did last year so yeah it's a great it's a great story next one from the quick fire cruise from insta what's your favorite cheat meal um my favorite cheat meal is pancakes with raspberry and nutella you have to try before we come to the last question, thank you guys for all the questions I've got. Um, sorry, I cannot answer to every question, but feel free to come to me on the track and ask me some questions. So the last question is, which rider would you most like to be in a team with? Yeah, the answer is Jason Doyle, Max Frick and Anders Thompson. Thank you. See you guys.